my channel so for today's video i thought i would vlog because today is a very exciting day i'm submitting my very last university assignment and i'm so excited to get it out of the way so i've basically got one more slide left to do and i need to record that and the conclusion and then i can send it in so yeah i'm really excited feels really weird but happy to never have to do an assignment ever again i do have my safe medication exam next tuesday so that's like the final thing and hopefully i pass that i'll find out the week later um but yeah it's really really weird finally submitting like my final assignment so yeah i thought i would vlog today because it's momentous and it's coming to the end of my university journey so i've just made some breakfast it's quarter past 11 i have to submit at half past four so i'm really hoping that this last slide isn't going to take that long um i came off it last night because i was just like getting really frustrated with it and it was just annoying us and i wasn't understanding it so yeah i might also have to re-record some slides as well because i'm currently on 20 minutes 20 seconds and you're only allowed up to 22 minutes so i don't think i'm gonna have enough time to be able to talk through this slide so i might have to re-record some sections or take some stuff out as well so we're gonna eat the breakfast and crack on with it So I think I've finally finished my presentation. I'm gonna quickly read through it and make sure that there's no spelling mistakes or anything like that, although I have recorded most of it. Um, so I'm gonna try and record the last two slides and see how I get on. But obviously, if not, I'm gonna have to go back through and rather talk faster or cut some stuff out. So I'm officially finished and recorded my presentation. I've never been so happy in my life. I'm just getting people to check over that the audio's working. And then I'm going to send it in, my last ever assignment at university. Honestly, if I don't pass and I have to redo it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Guys, I'm so nervous. I like, don't want to hit send. I sent it to my friend and she says it's working. I'm just waiting for my uncle to confirm it as well. I'm like so nervous to send this off. It's a joke. Right, guys, it's done. I sent it. Ah, that was my last ever university assignment. I'm like shaking. Oh my god, I feel a bit emotional, to be completely honest. <laughs> I'm so glad it's all the way, though. Like, honestly, that was like the most, like, honestly, this year from like January to now, I've just had nothing but bad news. And the fact that I've even still been able to just get on and do my course, it's like ridiculous. Like, I'm not even bothered about what grade I get at this point as long as I pass and I can graduate. Like, I literally don't care. But I'm so happy to have handed it in. Ah! Hey guys, so I've just been to the shop. I couldn't talk to you beforehand because I was on the phone to my um, energy company. They've just been an absolute bloody nightmare. As per usual, cannot wait to get away from them. I mean, my account's been closed, but still, I'm owed money and everything and they just do my head in. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I've just been to the shop to pick up some strawberries and some milk. I couldn't get the milk that I wanted, but I've just got like a little milk carton for now because I don't normally drink normal milk, but they didn't have the milk that I have in there. So I'm just currently walking back to my uni halls. I think I'm going to get an Indians later. I kind of celebrate sending in my last assignment, which I'm quite excited about. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go home go in the shower chill and then i can pick up the indians later because i'm gonna get the indians from campus i'm also gonna have some lunch as well because i'm absolutely starving so this is what i'm having for my dinner i've got a chicago tom pizza some halloumi fries and also some cucumber with some mayonnaise and i'm just watching the final episode of shadow hunters i'm currently just lay on my bed I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite tired to be honest. I didn't actually have a great night's sleep last night. I um, didn't get to sleep till about 3 o'clock this morning. But I don't want to go to sleep because I won't sleep for placement tonight and I have to be up at half past 5, quarter to 6 tomorrow for placement at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit and watch some Disney Plus. They've got the new Secret Invasion um, series on. It feels like the new Nick Fury series, like Marvel series on Disney Plus. I think I sit and watch that. Look how cute my avatar is. It's really so cute. 
But yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit and watch this and then I'm gonna order some Indians later. This is probably the most boring vlog, but like, I wanted to vlog today because I wanted to film obviously handing in my last assignment. So yeah, sorry if it's boring, but I needed this little memento, you know? I have just ran my placement, this will all my shifts for the week though. Mind my fan going in the background, it's like boiling in my apartment. My apartment, my little uni room. Um, But yeah, I have just contacted my placement, it's all on my shifts for this week. So I'm going back to my base placement Um, because I was on my spoke for the last three weeks. So I've got, I'm working on my base tomorrow then on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm really excited because I'm going to be working in the special baby unit which is really nice um because obviously as a adult nurse you don't get much experience with like child placements so i've got two days on the skaboo then on friday i'm back on uh, my base placement but i want to try and get two days on the maternity ward as well and i also need to do one day on the orthopedic ward as well um because that kind of links to my base I might also try and get a day on the visual imaging unit as well. I'm basically just trying to do as many long shifts as I can to get my hours out the way as quick as I can because I want to try and finish at least a week early. So yeah, well, granted I actually pass everything I need to pass. Um, but yeah, I just like, I can't believe the fact that I could practically only have about three weeks left on my course, which is just crazy and I should know whether I've passed by like the beginning of August like whether I've qualified or not or if I have to like redo something so yeah it's just like absolutely crazy that I'm coming to the end of my university journey it's been the quickest three years of my life and I'm just trying to cram everything that I can in before I become a qualified nurse because obviously once I become a qualified nurse I can't actually like go to other places and experience stuff so yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Good morning everyone, my name is Sarah Maher, I've literally just woke up. Um, I'm talking quietly right now because it's about five past six in the morning, but I basically kind of forgot that I was vlogging late on last night, but I wasn't really doing much. I just kind of sat and watched TV. So I thought I would carry on in this week because I've got a week of placement, so you can kind of see what I get up to on the week of placement, I guess. So I've just got up and made my breakfast just the same breakfast as yesterday and then i'm gonna start getting ready for placement okay so i'm now on the lift of my building on my way to placement for my last three weeks it feels really really weird but i will literally be in this uniform in my three stripes the last three weeks and that's it yeah i'm basically just walking to the, stop, the bus stop now it's so cute though because there's loads of little bunny rabbits just running around and playing with each other right now it's so cute um yeah on my way to the bus stop oh my god there's tons of them <laughs> um on my way to the bus stop to catch the bus um i have to leave like an hour on this trip it's normally i would leave about 25 past seven but i have to leave at five past seven and i'll go and get my bus so i'll see you far away from the hospital um but yeah it just feels really weird knowing that i've only got like three weeks left Hey guys, so I'm now back on campus. It's about 10 past 6 right now. Um, I didn't vlog anything today because today was just an absolute manic first day back and I honestly just didn't get a chance to pick up a camera. So I'm going to head back to my uni accommodation now and I'm going to get my washing and take it down to be washed because I don't have any other time to do washing this week basically. So I'm going to do my washing and I'm going to order an Indians and then I'm going to pick it up once I've taken my washing. Okay, I've got my washing and my detergent and stuff in here, so let's go. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's really weird being back in these washing facilities, but for anyone wondering who's coming to York, if you're in Constantine College, it's £3.20 for a wash and £1.70 for a dry. It hasn't actually went up that much since I was here three years ago, to be fair. But still, everything's getting chucked in together and I'm gonna put some salt in so the colours don't run. So yeah, little tip, if you go into uni, get yourself some salt in a chuck it in the washing machine and your colours won't run and you can wash everything together and save money. Also get yourself one of these little laundry bags and then you won't lose your socks in the washing machine or the dryer. I also invested in this Eco um, wash egg as well because you get 70 washes out of this um, and I think it was only like a tenner so and then you can just get refills so these last like 70 washes so they're way cheaper than getting pods that cost you the same amount of money but only last you about 45 washes. I'll leave the link down below if anyone's interested. This is not an ad, by the way. I just really like them and they're good for the environment. 
So I set that washing away. It takes 39 minutes to clean everything. Mind my noisy fan in the background. Um, but I'm basically just waiting for my wash and my Indians to come now. I'm absolutely starving. I'm so tired. My back is absolutely killing from walking around all day. Um, but yeah, I need to wait for that to wash and then go and collect it. And then I can hang it on my drying rack. Luckily, I've actually got room to put it out of the way this time, like last time. My uni room was so, like, full of stuff because obviously I was living here, like, full time for a year and I had shoe racks and everything. Um, that I wasn't able to, I had to put my drying rack, like, next to my window and then it, like, obviously, I just had no space, basically. So, yeah, that's a bonus of not having to have much stuff yet. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually so excited to eat this. So, I got a lamb tikka masala some keema rice i got some chips and also a naan came with the curry as well guys how good does this look i added some lettuce and cucumber as well because i always normally get salad with my indians but you don't get it here and i can't wait to sit and eat this okay it's not the best indians i've had it was a bit spicy so i couldn't really eat all of the um meat normally when i get a masala it's like not spicy so probably won't be having again but the rest of it was all right I'm now going to go and get my washing though because it's cycles finished and it's getting late. And the washing is hung and I am watching Matilda until the violin comes on, although I do still need to make my dinner for tomorrow. I just can't particularly be bothered right now because I'm still stuffed from my Indian, so I'll make that in a little bit. I was so tired. I literally fell asleep on the bus on the way back from place, but like, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get through the next like 10 days. <laughs> I'm literally working nonstop. Okay, so I've just made my food for tomorrow. I've made a tuna, lettuce and cucumber bagel. I've got my oats and my strawberries. That's granted if the um, ward has milk in a microwave. If not, I'm probably just gonna have to have my strawberries. Um, but I've got a peppermint tea and I'm now gonna go and watch Love Island. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So it's currently about half past five in the morning. I woke up at 10 past 5 and I'm just sat having a cup of tea and I had a couple of digestive biscuits because I don't like to have breakfast this early in the morning and obviously you get a morning break when you're on the ward so I'm just going to have my breakfast then. Um, I'm really tired today. I didn't get to sleep till about midnight. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. Hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. So I'm going to finish this cup of tea and I'm going to start getting ready for my day in the special baby year which i'm really excited about but also really nervous about as well because obviously it's a completely different type of nursing okay so i'm now ready for placement i've got everything that i need in my bag so let's go for a day on scuba am i literally getting the lift yes i am i really can't be bothered i'm too tired and i'm gonna be on my feet enough for the day as it is so the more i can do it be off my feet the better if anyone's also wondering why I have a jacket on um, when it's warm, it's basically because when you get public transport and you've got a uniform on, you kind of have to have it covered. So that's why I've got this jacket on. It's from Equa El Equestrian. It's quite thin, so it's not too bad. I also don't wear my placement shoes to placement either. I have them in my bag and then I just have regular trainers on. I honestly can't wait until I move home because my job's literally like a 20 minute walk away from where I live. So I won't have to get up until about six o'clock, which is always great when you've got a 13 hour shift. Hey guys, so I'm just walking around to the entrance now. I'm actually really nervous and kind of still don't know where I'm going. Okay, so I'm in the toilets. I've changed my shoes. I've got all my gear on. So let's go. Hey everyone, so I'm just currently on my break. I'm just having the same as what I normally have, porridge and strawberries. Um, I'm quite enjoying the scuba to be honest it's really interesting and the baby's obviously so cute um and obviously like it's a totally different world down here like the nursing aspect's like so different to everywhere else um but i was trying to get on the maternity ward at york hospital but that's full with students at the minute because obviously midwifery and that get priority so 
I'm gonna have to see if I can maybe go to Harrogate. If not, I'm gonna have to find some other roads to go to because obviously I wanna try and work down my hours so I can finish a week early. If not, I can, I'll just have to work like an extra day. And at the fourth, we can finish like three days or five days early, but I ideally want to be finished by that Monday, but it's fine. Hey everyone, so I've just had my dinner. Um, I'm just about to go back out onto the unit, but I'm enjoying it. I just feel a little bit useless because obviously most of the babies are like, need a lot of looking after and obviously like I can't do that. So I'm feeling a little bit useless. Like there's not much for us to do. I'm just kind of following people around and observing, but it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, I don't really like feeling like I can't contribute anything, but I'm going to go back out onto the unit now. So I'll talk to you guys on my way home. So I'm now finished. I actually got let out early, which was nice. Um, it's been like a bit of a hectic day today. Apparently they're never really that busy on Scooby. Well, they are, but they haven't been for weeks. Um, so I've had quite a busy day. Um, I felt kind of bad because I wasn't able to contribute that much, but apparently it's been a really busy day and they haven't really had much time. So yeah, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm back to Matra, so we'll see. But now I'm going to go and catch my bus before I miss it. So I'm back on campus. I've just been at the shop and I'm actually going to head round to the Chinese restaurant that's on campus because I didn't realise they did beef cantonese and I love beef cantonese. I literally can't get it anywhere here. Um, it's just not a thing down here and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I can get beef cantonese and I'm absolutely buzzing so I'm heading around to get that. Okay, my inner state, I look right now, my hair is so frizzly but I'm back from the Chinese. I've actually already plated it up here. I got Cantonese, noodles and chips. Um, I was on the phone with my mum so I couldn't talk to you when I actually got it but yeah I'm gonna sit and scram this because I'm starving. So it's that time of the night again. I'm making my lunch replacement tomorrow. I'm actually just gonna do a ham cheese and mayonnaise sandwich to be completely honest. Um, can't really be bothered to make anything else. I'm just defrosting a bread bun um, in the toaster and then I'm gonna make that. Then I've got some skips and also a fibre one bar and I've done my strawberries and put my sachet of my oats in the tub ready to go tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, all I need to do is grab them out of the fridge and fill up my water bottle. But right now I'm just making a peppermint tea to take back into my bedroom because I'll have one like every single night now. Um, forgot the tea bag, so I'm just gonna take the hot water in. So I'm in bed now. I'm just watching some YouTube until the violence starts in 10 minutes, but I've got my cute little fairy lights on. It's all like cozy vibes. Um, I wanna try and go to sleep early tonight because I only had five hours sleep last night and my brain just did not function today. Like, it just literally, it just did not function. I felt like so bad for everyone that was talking. It was because I was literally just stood there like, what is even going on? But I think it's, it was a mixture of the tiredness, but also being in an unfamiliar place and just feeling like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, Because obviously... Special baby units are a completely different type of nursing, so it just totally threw us off. Um, so yeah, I've got my peppermint tea, I'm going to watch Love Island, and then I'm going to go to sleep, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, so it's now the next day, I'm actually back from placement. I didn't have time to vlog this morning because I woke up late and I had to quickly leave to go to placement. Um, but today was good, I got to learn a lot more than what I did yesterday because it wasn't as busy. Um, but I've gotten a change in just to top and some shorts um i've basically just got lounge wear with us now because obviously i'm not really doing much um but yeah i'm basically sitting at my computer because i want to go through safe medicate and rewrite down all the equations that i'm going to need for my exam because i wrote them down on my first year but i don't know where my book is with the equations in so i'm going to do that now and then i need to go in the shower and sort my bag for tomorrow um I'm going home for work tomorrow for the weekend, so I'm quite excited to go home and see my family and my boyfriend. Just two more weeks after Amara, and I literally cannot wait to be finished. I'm so exhausted, it's a joke. Like, it's really hard as a nursing student because I like, don't bring yourself out, but then it's like when you've got deficit hours from your first year because it didn't give you enough material to cover the hours that you should have had whilst you were in placement. It's kind of hard not to burn yourself out so yeah just two more weeks to push through and i'm officially hopefully qualified okay so i can't really remember what the last thing i filmed was but um i'm literally just sat in bed settled for the night with my fairy lights on again watching um love island honestly i can't wait to get the day over and done with tomorrow so i can go home 
and say my boyfriend like I don't know what it is at the minute but I think like obviously with no one it's coming to an end I just miss like my boyfriend a lot and just want to be at home with him like constantly um so yeah I can't wait to just get the next two weeks out of the way like I really just want to pass my medication exam first time so I don't have to deal with it anymore like I just want to get the next two weeks out of the way qualify and get on with my life because I'm literally sick now and I just want to go home and be with my family but yeah I'm literally gonna watch this call my boyfriend and then go to bed so I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last day of placement for the week morning everyone so it's now Friday it's my last day on placement of the week and honestly I'm so excited because I'm so tired <laughs> um I've just started having some breakfast Um, my strawberries were looking a bit worse for wear this morning so I haven't bothered putting them on my porridge but I'm just having my standard chocolate porridge with a cup of tea Um, I'm gonna eat this and then start getting ready for the day i feel like it's gonna be such a long day today because i feel like this week's been such a long week and um, like every single day is dragged um but yeah i'm gonna talk to my supervisor about doing my episode of care next week or the week after i just really want it out the way because it's just stressing us out and obviously i've got my medication exam as well so if i can i might try and get them to out the way next week because obviously i've got my medication exam on tuesday and if i get my summer of all the week it's out the way it's just one less thing to worry about in my last week so yeah hopefully next week will be a good week and i'll pass my medication exam but yeah i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and then start getting ready for placement So my bag's now ready for placement. I've got my sandwich, my drink, everything I need kind of in here, my shoes, and then underneath that I've got clothes for going home and like that I can get changed to when I finish placement. But other than that, I need to get my jacket out of my bedroom because I forgot it. Okay, I've now got my jacket, so let's head to placement. I actually need to ring my boyfriend on the way because he asked us to wake him up, so I'm gonna do that. So I'll probably say it is when I get to the hospital. Everyone, so I'm now at placement. I'm just in the toilet to get in. So, um, I basically got all my gear on and changed my shoes. I really can't be bothered with me. I'm so tired. I only had about three hours sleep. Um, but we're gonna get through it and then we're gonna go home for the weekend. And then we've only got two weeks left. Like, I'm counting down the days literally. <laughs> Everyone, so I'm now at the train station, mind the noise above it. Um, my train's delayed by half an hour, which is a bit of a problem because it now does not connect with my connecting train. So instead of getting the train to Cromlin, I'm now going to have to get the train from Newcastle. Well, I'm going to get the metro from Newcastle to Whitley Bay, which takes longer, which is just really annoying. So instead of an extra 10 minute journey, I've now got an extra 25 minute journey, and I just really can't be bothered. I'm not going to lie. So yeah. Now I'm not going to get home until about 8 o'clock when I was meant to get back for about half past 7, which is a bit annoying, but um, it is what it is. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm not really going to be doing anything interesting when I get home and back from water my nan as I'm having a drink. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and press the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.